Hello and welcome back to Hughes Nursery. Earthworms are the workers of the soil and are sometimes called nature's plough. Their job is very important for the quality of soil and also decomposition. Many of you will think the more earthworms there are, the healthier the soil. However, this isn't always the case. But, as organic vegetable gardeners, we encourage an abundance of earthworms in our garden to help maintain healthy soil. There are more than 7,000 species of them, and in terms of biomass, they dominate the world of soil invertebrates and play a major role in decomposition across the globe. Their most common known job is to recycle decaying organic matter, for example, eating and digesting leaves, which provides casts that contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, which are essential nutrients for healthy plant growth. The MPK values can range from 322 to 0.5, 0.1 to 0.1, depending on their diet. The castings also contain a lot of micronutrients. Earthworms also have many other benefits for the garden. One of my personal favourite benefits of having earthworms in the garden is improving root growth for plants. As they munch their way through the soil, they leave channels of nutrient-rich casts which plant roots can follow. These channels can also create better moisture content for soils and even improve aeration. Other benefits include mixing poor soil with organic matter, stimulating microbial activity and better soil tilth, which are all positives for any vegetable garden. In permaculture, earthworms are possibly the biggest asset as the worst thing is to get a dead soil where no microorganisms and earthworms are living and working. The population of earthworms is influenced by quality of food supplies and soil disturbance, for example, digging. The United States Department of Agriculture has a list of underlying factors which affect the abundance of earthworms, which you can find the link of in the description. So what steps can you take to increase the populations in your own backyard? In simple terms, the more fresh organic matter there is in the soil, the more earthworms there are. Adding organic matter like compost, leaf mould or mulches is the answer for many questions, for example, improving soil fertility, moisture retention and in last week's video, a better pH. However, how much organic matter do I need to keep my earthworm population thriving? It all depends on your topsoil quality, however, a good rule of thumb is to easily sink your forefinger into the soil and to the knuckle. If you can do this, then you will have soft and airy soil which will allow bigger vegetables as it will be easier for them to grow and won't be fighting compacted soil. Aim for a medium textured soil, which is preferred by earthworms. Many people say to grow vegetables you need a 50% topsoil and 50% compost mix. Now, this 50% compost mix doesn't have to be just vegetable scrap compost, as it could also be leaf mould mixed in or mushroom compost. You don't have to have this ratio, However, if you're just starting out or wanting to keep costs low, I'd recommend starting with at least a third of grain mixture to have compost in and the rest to be soil. Remember, you don't need to buy any compost because it can easily be created at home. Check out this video about building soil during the autumn and winter ready for spring. Interestingly, in square foot gardening, there isn't any soil but one third of vermiculite, one third peat moss, and another third blended compost, but if you follow organic gardening principles, swap the peat moss with leaf mould. The mistake we made was by not covering bare bits of ground with mulch, such as fall leaves. This leaves a bare patch of ground and will discourage earthworms as there is no food for them to eat. Therefore, ensuring that you mulch beds particularly during the growing season and autumn will not only stop weeds from growing, but provide a great source of food for the worms. Typical mulches could be well-rotted manure, full leaves or grass clippings from the lawn. Another factor to an increased earthworm population is soil depth. So if you grow in raised beds on top of soil, you won't have many problems. But if it is on concrete, you will expect to find fewer earthworms. To compensate the low numbers, start a worm farm and harvest the castings and spread them around the soil, or add other cheap amendments such as compost tea, used coffee grounds and biochar to name a few. What do you do to keep population of earthworms high? I'd love to know, so please tell me by posting a comment in the comment section. 
I have attached a few resources in the description if you'd like to find out more. And if you did enjoy this video, please give this a thumbs up. I would wish to thank Josh Summers for allowing me to use this close-up clip of Worms, and you can take a look at his work on Flickr. If you haven't yet already, please consider joining this ever-growing community by clicking the subscribe button to stay updated with growing vegetables and learn how to grow organic produce inexpensively. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon. Have a great day.